What is going on everybody? It's Dave in here helping you play creatively. So if you want a richer sound, you feel like your chords are a bit basic, I believe this lesson is for you. Today we're continuing our series on diminished chords and we are looking at half diminished chords. Now, what is a half diminished chord? A half diminished chord is a chord build on the root, minor third, the flat five, and the minor seventh. That is a half diminished chord right there. Now, let's go ahead and look at another example of a half diminished chord. Let's look at F half diminished. We're gonna take the root, the minor third, the flat five, and the minor seven. Let's take another example of this. Let's go ahead and look at E half diminished. We're gonna take the root, the minor third, the flat five, and the minor seven. All right, so that gives us a half diminished chord. Now, how do we use this in a song? One way is as a substitution for a dominant seven chord. So let's look at the song Amazing Grace. The chords for this song are, we're gonna do this in the key of F, okay? So we have, Now let's just examine the first part of that. Our, for, our first chord is an F dominant seven. And we're still on an F dominant seven. How sweet. That moves us to a B flat dominant seven. Back to an F dominant seven. Now, how could I use half diminished chords to enrich in my sound, okay? so. One thing I like to do is, instead of playing the F7 or seventh chords for the entire duration, I could substitute one of these seventh chords for a half diminished chord. Here's how I would do it for F. I went ahead and did it for both of them. What I did there was I played the F dominant seven. And here I have my seventh in my left hand, just so you can see that. Now what I'm doing here is I'm moving up a third away from the F. So to move up a third away from the F, I'm counting up three notes within the F major scale. One, two, three, all right? So that gives me an A half diminished seven right there. I apply that same principle to the B flat. How sweet the sound. I move up three notes away from the B flat. And that gives me a D half diminished seven that I can use as a substitution for the B flat. So let's play that first part again. All right, now let's continue. Now, I use two more half diminished seventh chords there. We play a D minor, that saved a wretch. Instead of playing this G13, which is a dominant chord, I'm gonna go ahead and substitute it with a B half diminished seven, which is three notes away from the G. One, two, three. All right. So that's how I came up with that chord, so. Now here's my C. I moved up three notes away from C to use a E half diminished seven, okay? 
And so here you can see how you can apply a half diminished 7 as a substitution for a dominant chord. And the rule for that is, if you're playing a dominant chord, so let's say we're playing C, and it doesn't even have to be a dominant chord, but generally speaking, I apply them to dominant chords. You count up three notes away from the dominant chord that you're playing. So C is one, D is two, E is three, and that allows me to know which half diminished seventh chord I can use as my substitution, all right? So that's the first way I like to use half diminished seventh chords. So another way I like to use half diminished seventh chords are as a passing chord going to a minor chord. However, it's a little bit different in what you've seen me use prior in that it's a part of a minor two, five, one progression. Well, here's what I mean. In this song, Amazing Grace, we're going to D minor. That saved a wretch like me. And so that saved, we're going to use a two, five, one progression going to the D minor. Now, we're going to use a minor two, five, one progression, but think about it this way. You're going to go to the two of D, which is going to be E. You're going to go to the five of D, which is going to be A. And then you're going to go to the one, which is D minor. So that's where we get two, five, one from. And the reason why it's a minor two, five, one progression is these chords come from the minor scale. You can learn that in another, in another lesson. So we're going to make our two a half diminished seven. All right. And so here we have E half diminished seven. And while we're not learning augmented chords, we're going to go ahead and learn one right now. We're going to make our five and augmented seven, all right? And so to make this an augmented seven, we're gonna play a major chord, we're gonna add the dominant seven, which is one whole step down from the root, and then we're going to raise our fifth, which is E, up a half step. All right? And then that's how we find an augmented seven chord, and then we're gonna to go to the one, all right? So here's it in, an, in, the, in Amazing Grace, and then I'm gonna show you some more examples on how you can use this half diminished seven as a part of this minor two, five, one progression in other songs. So, So there I used it. That's it. All right. So now let's look at another song for an example. Uh, let's stay within this key of F and let's do, just do As the Deer. That's a pretty common song. As the deer I used it again, right? Two, five, now you might be saying, wait a minute, aren't you in the key of F? Yes, you're absolutely right. So shouldn't F be the one and E be the seventh and A be the three or the third? Well, we're temporarily thinking within the key of D minor, which is why we're calling it a two, five, one, rather than seven, I often use those terms interchangeably, and you'll find that in gospel music, a lot of gospel musicians will say 736. Um, but for now, we're just calling it a 251. And the reason why is so that you realize you're not limited to just going to the six. Um, in, in further lessons, you can apply the same 251 progression going to the third. All right. So I don't want to get into that and, and make you all confused. Okay. So. Those are just two ways that I like to apply a half diminished seventh chord. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. 
Do me a favor, if you want to continue on your piano playing journey, go ahead and check out the links above me and in the description below where you can find free resources to help you grow in your piano playing journey. But until next time, keep watching, keep learning, we'll all keep growing together. I'll see you guys next week.